Hello students, my name is Santosh Kumar. I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. We are discussing module number one, Metal Cutting Theory and Dynamometry. We will discuss in this video the topic called Shear Plane and Shear Angle. So you can see in the sketch, This is the cutting tool which is striking the workpiece. As it is already striked the workpiece, there is a chip which is there flowing over the cutting tool. And this angle that is at which crack initiates and then propagates to the surface, this plane is called as a shear plane. Okay, so if I write the view it looks somewhat like this. So this plane is called as a shear plane. So if I write a 3D view, it looks somewhat like this. The angle at which this shearing take place, that is the angle of this shear plane with respect to horizontal or the machine surface is called shear angle. Okay. So that is shear plane and shear angle and this is T0 that is uncut chip thickness and this one is chip thickness and this is alpha that is rake angle. So if you see the nomenclature of the cutting tool, so this is a rake angle and this is called as positive rake angle. And if the cutting tool shape is like this, this is called as a negative rake angle. And as you can see in the sketch, so this is positive rake angle and this is negative rake angle. So there are advantages in positive rake angle which you can see in nomenclature of the cutting tool. So now let us discuss about chip thickness ratio. The thickness of the deformed or upward flowing chip is more than the actual depth of cut. That is, so the TC will be greater than T0. So the velocity of the chip flow is directly affected by shear plane angle. So if I take T1 as chip thickness prior deformation and T2 as chip thickness after deformation, the chip thickness ratio is given as R that will be equal to T1 by T2. Okay, As T1 as T2 is greater than T1, so chip thickness ratio will be in decimal around 0 0.15, 0 0.2 like this. So what is the significance of this chip thickness ratio? There is one more term that is chip reduction coefficient that is k that is reciprocation reciprocal of chip thickness ratio. So the significance of this chip thickness ratio is greater the r that is higher the value of chip thickness ratio better is supposed to be the cutting action. Okay, So that is about shear plane and shear angle. So in this slide we will discuss more about shear angle. So this is the cutting tool as you can see it is striking the workpiece and this is the shear plane where shearing is taking place and this angle is called shear angle and if I draw a normal to the cutting tool face I get a triangle and this is 90 degree as you have drawn a dropped a normal to the rake surface. This angle as given in the sketch it will be phi minus alpha. So as this is 90 this angle will be 90 minus phi minus alpha. Okay. So consider triangle OAP that is this one OAP 
sin phi this is the phi that is shear angle sin phi will be equal to ap by op okay as the sin angle is opposite by hypotenuse ap is opposite side op is hypotenuse sin phi is equal to ap by op so therefore op will be equal to t1 times of sin phi because ap is t1 that is chip thickness before deformation so op will be equal to t1 by sin phi and then if you take the triangle pob this is p o and then b sin pob that is sin of this angle 90 minus phi plus alpha so as this is 90 minus phi minus alpha if i remove the bracket it will be 90 minus phi plus alpha so that will be equal to if i use allied angle formula so sin will become cos so it will be cos phi minus alpha that will be equal to bp by op okay so what is sin of this angle that will be equal to opposite it is bp by hypotenuse that is op so therefore op will be equal to t2 by cos phi minus alpha because bp is t2 as per the figure okay therefore if i combine this equation 1 and then equation 2 i can write t1 by t2 will be equal to r that will be equal to op sin alpha by op cos alpha so op op gets cancelled so what is remaining is sin alpha by cos phi minus alpha so that is chip thickness ratio formula and then if we continue to iterate chip thickness ratio r will be equal to sin phi now if i use compound angle formula cos a minus b will be equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b so i am expanding using a compound angle formula so what do i get is r cos alpha r cos alpha by tan alpha plus r sin alpha will be equal to 1 so therefore tan alpha will become r cos alpha by 1 minus r sin alpha so if i know what is a chip thickness ratio and what is the rake angle of the tool i can find out what is the shear angle using this relation or there is one more graph which is developed using this relation that is nomograph as you can see in this figure so it is not so clear i'm sorry about it so this is the positive rake angle for example we will consider 21 degree that is positive rake angle here this is the point and this vertical line represents the chip thickness ratio or cutting ratio that is represented by r so that is we are taking it around 0.15 so as you can see this graph is developed using this relation itself so if i take rake angle as 21 and the chip thickness ratio as 0.15 and i join these two lines these two points i get a line and i extend it further on to the line which is representing a shear angle so i directly get what is the shear angle that is 8.55 degrees so this is about shear plane and shear angle so we'll end this video here